Hi everyone, hope you've had a good day. Uh, today we are going to talk about the grammar of uh, Unit 2.2. If you remember, last time we completed uh, the part, the listening part, which was about uh, future developments. Well, the grammar we are going to talk about today is about giving reason or using adverb clauses uh, to show cause and effect. Uh, I suggest we go to the language bank and start talking about the grammar. Then we will get back to the main part and uh, give more examples. So, on page 43, uh, we've got the table entitled as Using Adverb Clauses to Show Cause and Effect 1. Well, because uh, I'm, I'm sure you know all about because and how to use it in sentences. Just uh, I'm going to go through the explanations uh, in order to just uh, have a short review. A. Because he was sleepy, he went to bed. He went to bed because he was sleepy. So, an adverb clause uh, of because may precede or follow the independent clause. Independent clause uh, is the main clause. In sentence A, the main clause is he went to bed. And because he was asleep, he provides an adverb for uh, the main clause or the independent clause. Uh, it is the adverb clause of reason. Because he was asleep, he went just note the punctuation when we change the places of the independent clause and the adverb clause. Um, if it is fronted, I mean the adverb, if the adverb clause is fronted and it is placed at the beginning of the sentence, uh, it will be followed by a comma, then uh, we will have the independent clause. When it is uh, used as the second clause, or comes later after uh, the main clause, there is no need for comma. Be sure to identify the correct cause and effect. So what is cause, what is effect? In this sentence, he went to bed is the effect, and uh, its cause is he was sleepy. Because he was sleepy, he went to bed. We can't say uh, because he went to bed, he was sleepy. Now that, see, now that I finish this semester, I'm going to rest a few days and then take a trip. D, Jack lost his job. Now that he's unemployed, he can't pay the bills. Un uh, now that means because now. In sentence C, now that I finish the semester means because the semester is now over. Note, now that is used with the present, present perfect, or future tenses. Another example. Now that I live only a few blocks from work, I walk to work and enjoy it. You can also omit that. That is optional in uh, the phrase now that. Now I live only a few blocks from work, I, wo I walk to work and enjoy it. Next one is since. E. Since Monday is a holiday, we don't have to go to work. F. Since you're a good cook and I'm not, you should cook the dinner. When since is used to mean because, it expresses a known cause. It means because it is a fact that or given that it is true that. Cause and effect sentences with since say... <clears throat> Given the fact that X is true, Y is the result. In sentence E, given the fact that Monday is a holiday, we don't have to go to work. Uh, we can also use uh, the phrase given or given the fact that uh, to talk about reasons. We can also use since in uh, present perfect sentences to provide a time clause or time expression. Since I came here, I have met many people. 
since means from the time. So since uh, has two meanings, it is also used in time clauses as in G. You know all about it. Because, because of, due to. Because of and due to uh, can be used interchangeably. I mean, uh, since the meanings are the same and the way we uh, use them uh, is the same, we can use them instead of each other. But the story is different about because. Because the weather was cold, we stayed home. Because of the cold weather, we stayed home. Due to the cold weather, we stayed home. After because, uh, we have a clause. As you remember, we said because introduces an adverb clause, an adverb clause of reason. Uh, and uh, it is followed by a subject and a verb. It is something like a full sentence, but since the meaning is not complete, we call it a clause. As in H, because the weather was cold, we stayed home. We stayed home is our independent clause. Because of and due to are phrasal prepositions. They are followed by a noun object, as in I and J. So we never ever can say because of the weather was cold. Never. It is uh, a mistake that most of the students uh, probably make. But please note this. Okay. Uh, we've got more sentences here. I'm going to read a couple of them. One, since you paid for the theater tickets, uh, please let me pay for our dinner. Even the fact that you paid for the theater tickets, please let me pay for our dinner. Or number two, do you want to go for a walk now that the uh, rain has stopped? Or you can say, now that the rain has stopped, do you want to go for a walk? Or due to the fact that number seven, due to the fact that uh, we, due to the fact that the weather was cold, we stayed home. Or number uh, ten, now that we have a lot of money, we can visit several countries. And the other page starts with as a. As I was walking home, it began to rain. B. As I sat reading the paper, the door burst open. Burst open means open suddenly. C. As it's raining again, we'll have to stay at home. D. As he had not paid his bill, his electricity was cut off. The conjunction as remember it is a conjunction has several different meanings we use as when one event happens while another is in progress in this case the verb is often in the continuous form as in a and b as means during that time as i was walking during the time i was walking as i sat reading the paper during the time i uh, sat reading the paper as is also used to refer to the reason for something. In this case, as means since or because. Sentences C and D are you, uh, you know, um, are using as in this meaning. As it is raining again, because or since it is raining again, or as he had not paid his bill, because or since he had not paid his bill, blah blah blah. Four. For has got uh, different uses and meanings as well. E. We stopped at the cafe for a drink. It gives the reason why they stopped. F. I went to the college for an interview with Professor Taylor. G. I studied the guitar for three years at school. It talks about time. That house has been empty for six months. Again, uh, it introduces a time frame. I. Dr. Robbie, C. 
couldn't lecture at all, for she had a sore throat. Again, reason. J. They stayed there, for they didn't have enough money to move. For can be used to talk about somebody's purpose in doing something, but only when it is followed by a noun. It is important when it is followed by a noun, as uh, in sentences E and F. For a drink, for an interview, the purpose of uh, the the purpose of uh, stopping at the cafe was to drink, uh, was to drink, or was to get a drink, or uh, why I went to the college because I wanted to have an interview. The purpose of my action. We use for for duration to say how long something lasts for plus period of time, as in J and H. We sometimes use for as a conjunction meaning because we use it in very formal, in very formal and often literary contexts. And uh, note that after in this use of for after for we have got a clause. Okay, again it uh, introduces uh, an adverb clause of reason. In uh, sentence I, Dr. Robbie couldn't lecture at all for she had a sore throat. She had a sore throat is a clause. Or in J, uh, for they didn't have enough money to move. Due to and owing to. The delay was due to a problem with the ship's engines. The delay was due to a problem with the ship's engine was because of. The parade had to be cancelled owing to bad weather. They have got the same meaning, which means because of. Because of something. Uh, in sentences can L due to and owing to are more formal than because than because of actually well again we've got more sentences uh, number one the game was cancelled owing to uh, torrential rain torrential rain number two owing to his illness he could not continue with his studies or number five, I believe her, for surely she uh, would not lie to me. For surely she would not lie to me, used to introduce the reason. Number seven, as you were out, I left a message. Because you were out, I left a message. Number nine, he sat watching her as she got ready while she got ready well let's get back to uh, the main part of our book uh, we can begin a clause with as because seeing that or since to give a reason for a particular situation for example as it was getting late I decided I should go home we must be near the beach because I can hear the waves. Since he was going to live in Sweden, uh, he thought he should learn about the country. We would go and visit Sue, seeing that uh, we have to drive past her house anyway. Seeing that or seeing as. Uh, seeing, seeing that or seeing as. They, they are used, uh, seeing, especially seeing as is used in informal contexts. For example, I mean more examples. For as, I was tired after my journey as I had been driving non-stop for 12 hours. You can also use since, because, or for. I was tired from my journey for I had been driving non-stop for 12 hours because I had been driving non-stop for 12 hours or since I had been driving non-stop for 12 hours. Uh, 
strictly speaking, for can be used to express the same idea with others. Uh, however, it is mainly used in very formal context, as uh, we explained before. Another example for this formal usage of for, they postponed the meeting for the chairman was ill. For the chairman was ill. Uh, there is another note. Uh, clauses that are introduced by as and since usually come at the beginning of the sentence. You know, usually it is not, uh, you know, it, it doesn't mean that uh, if you start a sentence with because it shouldn't come to the beginning or it can't come to the beginning of the sentence. No, it is not the case. But uh, usually, normally, uh, the sentences, the clauses with as and since uh, begin the sentence. So, because clauses tend to go after the main clause. Uh, example for saying that or saying as. We may as well go to the concert seeing as we've already paid for the tickets. Seeing as we've already paid for the tickets. She had to support him seeing that she had chosen him herself against the opinion of many. She had to support him, seeing that, because she had chosen him herself against the opinion. Seeing as this man is a doctor, I would assume he is intelligent. Well, notice that it is common and acceptable for because to begin a sentence. As uh, we mentioned before, uh, we normally uh, use as and since to begin a sentence. But it is acceptable also to uh, use because and seeing that uh, and seeing as to start a sentence. Uh, because everything looked different, I had no idea where to go. Next point, uh, to give reason in a spoken English, we most often use because. So is also commonly used to express a similar meaning. Compare, because my mother's, uh, because my mother's arrived, because my mother's arrived, I won't be able to meet you. Because introduces the reason. My mother's arrived, so I won't be able to meet you. So introduces the result. So when uh, you are uh, using so, uh, so cannot introduce, cannot uh, uh, start a reason. It introduces and provides the result of previous uh, event. When it means because, since is rather formal. It is uncommon in conversation, but is uh, frequently used in this way in academic writing. I had to go outside because I was feeling awful. This is a uh, spoken use of uh, because, and when uh, we want to use, uh, we want to uh, talk about re or give reason in uh, more formal situations, uh, we tend to use since. The results of this analysis can be easily compared to future observations since satellite coverage will remain continuous. Pretty formal. Seeing that. Seeing that is used in informal English. Ken just had to apologize seeing that or seeing as he knew he'd made a mistake. In formal or literary you, uh, written English, we can also introduce reasons with for, in that, or less commonly, in as much as. Well, for example, the movie is unusual in that it uh, features only four actors, or in that uh, it features only four actors, the movie is unusual. 
So uh, in that, like others mean, uh, because, since, for the reason that, uh, or Clara and I have quite an easy life in as much as uh, neither of us has to work too much or in as much as uh, Clara and I uh, don't have to work too much we have quite an easy life more examples for in that the new system is better in that it provides faster access to the internet the new system is better in that it provides faster access to the internet or in that the new system provides faster access to the internet it is better in as much as they're rather similar in as much as they are the same size and color they are rather similar in as much as they are the same size and color uh, as or since clauses often come at the beginning of sentences leaving the more important information for later as they give reasons already known as you couldn't get here or since you couldn't get here we postpone the party till next Friday and uh, finally for introduces a new reason and always comes after the main clause we went to a small restaurant for we were hungry and uh, we had uh, many examples for uh, for and since micro practice match the clauses in columns a and b using the given words to make sentences well number one we are supposed to use as the neighbors must be on vacation as I haven't seen or heard them all week the neighbors must be on vacation as I haven't seen or heard them on uh, as I haven't seen or heard them all week uh, number two since Since you never take time to talk to Kylie, she has come to talk to me. Since you never take time to talk to Kylie, she has come to talk to me. Number three, we've got seeing as. You must be addicted, seeing as you've been playing your DS all day long. DS is a kind of uh, computer game. DS. Number four. In number four, we have because. The Johnsons left early in the morning because uh, the drive to the theme park will take them about three hours. The Johnsons left early in the morning because the drive to the theme park will take them about three hours. Number five. Uh, we've got as. As we haven't received your payment yet, we assume you are no longer interested in our offer. As we haven't received your payment yet, we assume you are no longer interested in our offer. And number six, since, in the middle of the sentence, we've scheduled you with Dr. Binning since Dr. Lee is on vacation. We have scheduled you with Dr. Binning since Dr. Lee is on vacation. Well, uh, the grammar part here is over, but uh, since we talked about uh, other phrases you uh, introducing reasons in grammar bank uh, I suggest we study the grammar part on page 32 as well uh, 
Okay. The prepositions because of, due to, owing to, and on account of can be used before a noun or a noun phrase to give a reason for something. All right. Uh, on account of uh, something means because of something else, especially a problem or difficulty. <clears throat> uh, they have got all the same meanings and the same uses with uh, some teeny tiny differences that I'm going to talk about it. Well, examples, we were delayed because of an accident. You can say, we were delayed on account of an accident, due to an accident, owing to an accident. She was unable to run owing to, due to, because of a leg injury. We have less money to spend owing to, due to, because of budget cuts. The president declined to deliver the speech himself on account of a sore throat. Deliver the speech means present uh, the speech. They all can also mean as a result of. For example, uh, uh, we were delayed as a result of an accident. She was unable to run uh, as a result of a leg injury and so on. In current English, we usually avoid owing to directly after a form of be. We need to have, uh, let's say, uh, an adverb of degree, such as entirely, largely, mainly, partly, as we have in the next part. The company's success is due to the new director, not is owing to the new director. But we can say, uh, the low election turnout was partly owing to the bad weather, was partly, was entirely, was mainly uh, owing to the bad weather. More examples. The performance has been cancelled owing to lack of interest, or the performance has been cancelled due to lack of interest or because of lack of interest, as a result of lack of interest. Due to or because of, uh, a lot of her unhappiness is due to boredom, not owing to, because we have got is before due to. A lot of her unhappiness is due to boredom or is because of boredom. But we can say their failure was mainly owing to a lack of care and attention. Their failure was mainly owing to a lack of care and attention. On account of, he gave up taking part in the marathon on account of uh, his cold, a problem or difficulty. He gave up taking part in the marathon on account of his cold. Or, we were held up for two hours on account of an accident. We were held up for two hours on account of an accident. Uh, next part is uh, about it was due to that or it was owing to that. We can uh, often use either it was due to that or it was owing to that with the same meaning there is no single difference between them. It was owing to his encouragement that she applied for the job, or it was due to uh, his encouragement that uh, she applied for the job. Uh, you might say that, okay, we've got was before owing to, but we said that it is uh, not correct to use, or we mainly don't use owing to directly after to be worked, because here we uh, have an it clause, and it clause it is uh, okay, right? Uh, at least it seems to be okay. Uh, for example, uh, it was due to budget pressures that uh, the workforce was reduced. It was due to budget pressures that the workforce was reduced, or it was partly owing to, we can also use partly those uh, adverbs of 
a degree here. It was partly owing to the rising cost of fuel that more people are using public transport. We can also say it was owing to the rising cost of fuel that more people are using public transport. Well, next part, uh, we can use for and with followed by a noun phrase to give a reason. For has a similar meaning to as a result of and is common in most styles of English, formal, informal. She was looking uh, all the better for her stay in hospital as a result of her stay in hospital. Or we can say, uh, we couldn't afford to borrow money to buy a house for the rise in uh, interest rates. We couldn't afford to borrow money to buy a house for the rise in interest rates. Or, the company is not hosting a Christmas lunch this year for budget cuts. The company is not hosting a Christmas lunch this year for budget cuts. And with, with has a similar meaning to as a result of their being, not just as a result of, as a result of their being. With so many people ill, I've decided to cancel the meeting. It means because there are so many people that are ill, I've decided to cancel the meeting. Uh, <clears throat> listen to these examples. Uh, his fingers were numb with cold because uh, it was cold. She blushed with embarrassment. With John away, there is more room in the house. She's been at home with a cold. Or uh, we can say... Uh, with friends like you, who needs enemies? With friends like you, because uh, there are friends like you, uh, or as a result of uh, there being friends like you, who needs enemies? Okay. Okay. Uh, we can also have other uh, phrases like, uh, as we talked before, now that, now that, which uh, is a conjunction meaning because of, uh, I'm going to relax now that the school year is over, or now that we know each other, we get along fine. Or another phrase like, thank to, thank to, thank to somebody or something, which is uh, quite informal and means because of somebody or something. And uh, sometimes uh, it is uh, used ironically. For example, uh, every, everyone knows about it now thanks to you. Because of you. Okay. Uh, or thanks to the cold weather, we have to stay home today. For example. Uh, okay, micro practice. Complete the following sentences using appropriate conjunctions. 1. We were late. The car broke down on the way. We were late because the car broke down on the way. Broke down means uh, got out of order. Number 2. Blah, blah, blah. Bad weather. The match was cancelled due to because. Certainly we have to use due to. Due to bad weather, the match was cancelled because bad weather is a noun uh, phrase. Number three, his success was his dad. Again, because his dad is a noun phrase, uh, we have to use due to, not because. His success was due to his Number four, the meeting was postponed, the manager's illness. 
the meeting was postponed due to owing to which one is correct both of them are correct due to the manager's illness owing to the manager's illness so number uh, five the match was cancelled the rain because because of the match was cancelled because of the rain six I worked fast I finished early we can't use due to because we've got a clause rather than a phrase because I worked fast I finished early number seven we didn't go out the strike we didn't go out because of the strike again there is a noun so because of is the correct choice number eight if I'm still alive that is him that is because of him that is owing to him yeah you can say that because we have got is owing to cannot be used if it was uh, is mainly yeah uh, if I'm still alive that is mainly owing to him but here let's just uh, choose because of number nine uh, she succeeded her mother because of her mother number ten I didn't like it I didn't buy it due to cannot be used so because I didn't like it I didn't buy it uh, the grammar is over next time we are going to talk about the writing part which is about proofreading so uh, till next time stay tuned thank you bye for now